guys, what's up? This is Most Saints. Boo Guy, everyone, back to Top Gear Season 2 on GTA 5. We're having the good old race, but this time it's going to be official. It's between the one of the new, my favorite vehicles in GTA, the Trophy Truck, versus one of the best vehicles in GTA, the Buzzard. And my good old friend, um, Chucky, there, his gamer tag has changed, but he's still actually Chucky. Um, it's going to be going to be our pilot. I shall set a waypoint. To the Sandy Shores airfield, the where the hangar is. First person inside the hangar shall win. All right, so three, two, one, go. Now I'm going. He's going to have the straight line advantage. He can just fly straight. But I think I have the speed advantage, and I am in a trophy truck. So if something gets in my way, I can just drive over it. So I think it'll even itself out a bit. Like, oh no, I'm stuck. No, I'm not. I'm not stuck. Now, I'm not specifically going to follow the waypoint. I want to get to the freeway. But not on that way, because that way's a little slower, I think. Or, it's not as quick. However, it is quick if you decide to spread around and try to jump onto the road. It's not working. So we're just going to abandon that idea, because there's a jump right here. So we're just going to go up here. And shall meet up with the freeway over this way. I think this will be interesting, because he has such an advantage in terms of flying. But I have speed and handling, when he's going to come through on the road. So, it's all going to be a matter of, can AI not get in my way? That would be the question. I'm gonna go this way. Or, shoot. Turn the wrong way, because I thought the entrance was over there. It's not. The entrance is over here. Right? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, currently, there's no way to get onto the freeway. That's not good. Oh, he lost body panel. I think John might win this unless I can pull something out of the hat. But we shall see. We shall see. Got the needle. I would. Sorry about that. All right now I just can't crash because we're going 100 miles an hour, 110, 120 miles an hour in this trophy truck. I mean, we can go basically anywhere we want, so we can take shortcuts, if they're actually faster. Um, so he's on the very edge of my map. Come on, trophy truck! Come on! I wonder where John is. No, AI. I wonder where he is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just keep going. Okay, I am officially entering... Entering Sandy Shores. I think he might already be there, but... I don't know. So this is where the shortcut and real off-road capabilities of the trophy truck come into play. That is some giant suspension. I think it's some of the biggest suspension in the game. Question is, is he in the hangar yet? I don't know. I don't see him in the hangar. There he is. No! Ah! Ah, that was a... Ah! Well... I see you got here very quickly. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I got stuck on the freeway, trying to get on the freeway for a long time. Well, maybe if you don't have AI problems, get lost, and are in a trophy truck, you just might be able to um, be a buzzard. But I did not, so the victory goes to you. And, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode of Forts of GTA 5. And I'll be back with 
more. Even though I didn't quite beat the helicopter with the trophy truck, I thought I should give a little bit more of a look at it. So it's a couple hundred horsepower supercharged V8. I'm oh, sorry, naturally aspirated V8. Sounds naturally aspirated. Um, definitely four wheel drive. Ridiculously big suspension. And can survive a heck of a lot of punishment. Yeah, you saw it climb over um, the indestructible hedges. This vehicle is just off-roading on another level. It is a phenomenal piece of machinery and arguably one of the best off-roaders in the game of GTA, if not the best. Because it can just bound across hills and, like, it can go so ridiculously fast. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Just jumps over stuff. It's amazing. And this is my own personal vehicle. It's still the exact same. It is the exact stock format. Because I don't really need to have a stock the upgraded car truck because it's just so dominant off-road. Um, I haven't actually raced it against other like off-roaders like the um, the Insurgent, the Dune, any of those other things, but I have a sneaky suspicion in the off-road class this would be the fastest one of the off-road class when maxed out because it's just so good at everything. It can climb, it can go fast, it can jump, it can break. And all these things make it for an incredible off-roader. However, I want to see how it would fare on our our tar on our all tarmac top gear test track. Now, the trophy truck is a very very good handling vehicle, even on road, not even off road. We learned that from our um, LS Rally series, where it's still the fastest formula vehicle, I think, to go around the course. So. It's pretty impressive vehicle, and yeah, um, trophy truck, no problems with the jumps, good acceleration, great traction, good handling, decent brakes, um, no, no problems with it in any way, shape, or form. In fact, if you look at the table right about now, um, it goes into first place, beating the Karen Karuma, the armored edition of it, the, was a, a a sports car and this trophy truck just beats a sports car so that is it for this episode of gta 5 top are you back with more